Um, also talking about the same thing, personal branding and networking. I won't lie, every time I introduce these people, it feels like I have to actually work harder, eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, So she's a candidate civil engineer, science 20, 2022 graduate engineer, Big Five Construct Impact Finalist 2023, which I'm also part of. <laughs> Women in Transport Finalist 2022, SICE Ethics Deputy Chairperson, SICE Star Future Leaders Panel and DNI member. Please welcome Takalani. Yeah. for your session that was that was amazing and my mandate for today is to just share stories of how I became connected with the rock stars of SICE um, and just sharing some of the tips from my personal um, journey and then I'll also just give a few tips where I can on how to um, do personal branding as well as networking okay so I only have 15 minutes so I don't want to take too much of your time but I'll just give you just a background of where we come from in terms of networking and technology and how it can help us. The purpose of media networking, steps on how to build your brand, using LinkedIn to build your brand and other existing platforms. Okay, so they've given an introduction about who I am. I've got four qualifications. Um, I studied at the University of Pretoria. I did my bachelor um, my PhD degree there, and then I continued to do my honor studies in structural engineering as well as project management and specialized project management. And that's my list of recognition. Um, and I think that the most important one to me is being mm -hmm. the graduate engineer of the year with SICE, as well as being part of the Golden Key Society member. So I get to go to the students and I'm like, you must study harder, get above 50, much more above 50, so that you can also be part of the Golden Key Association. I have six years experience in civil engineering, construction, project management, design, and management of projects. And I also have a ton of committees that I am a part of. So just to give you a background of who I am and where I started with this networking journey. So I started working um, at a company in December 2016. I only had two weeks before I started my job. and. After two and a half years, I felt like I had to leave, so I changed, went into construction, and it was hard, but it was quite fun, and then COVID happened, and I was unemployed. And I was unemployed for eight months. Every time I share the story, people find it unbelievable that I sat home for eight months, but I actually didn't sit home for eight months. I joined an advertising company um, that uh, was doing digital marketing at that time and I used that opportunity to build myself. So that's where I learned how to talk to people, taking pictures and videos. We had to wear makeup every single day. <laughs> and from that, I then went back into the engineering industry and I used everything that I've learned from there on to try and build my network with all the companies that I have displayed. I've been on a podcast, The Root of Science podcast, I'm currently working with an NPO, um, Dream Big, Stay Humble, which goes out to high schools talking about STEM and encouraging them to take math and science, as well as uh, we've got a company there called Aegis. Because of the networking that I've done, they then sponsored my specialized project management um, course. So, for some of those that have already graduated or still are, are to graduate, so you graduated, what's next? How do you then get to the top? So I'll put up this slide just to remind some of the students that I know you are pushing to only get your qualification, but there's more to that. When you jump into the workplace, they start looking at your technical skills, your soft skills, um, as well as your personal branding and environmental adaptability. And that's something that you have to remember when you go out into the industry. It's not just about the paper and getting cum laude. Please do remember to also acquire these skills at these type of conferences. So just to give a history of engagement, um, it's just it was interesting to just you know take a step back and remember where we come from. Doing in-person interviews um, 
you know, submitting your job applications there, running to the building before 4 p.m. You know, everything has changed. Now we do everything online. Um, we've got team sessions uh, where you work. We, we engage with a lot of the team members online. I think half of the working group, I've never met them. I've met them for the first time um, at this conference. But it doesn't mean that there wasn't any growth or progression with the planning. And I think from here on, there's infinite possibilities of how far we can go with using technology to network. Um, so just, in, just I think this was just um, to remind the students, we've got social media platforms and we've got your networking platforms. So I know there are a few students that came to me and said, oh no, you need to open the YouTube page, you know, you need to be out there. But I think I said that and I asked myself, okay, what am I trying to achieve? Am I trying to build myself as a professional or an entertainer? And personally, I decided I will go the LinkedIn route um, because of what I was trying to build myself. It's not wrong to have a YouTube page where you're having fun, but you also have to look at um, your goal and what you're trying to achieve, as Innocentia has mentioned. Um, and then I've just given some information just to remind us where we come from to where we are now, um, going from physical engagements to virtual engagements. As well, we had a smaller group of liberated youth members and now there's a lot of us here and I'm sure there will be more at the next conference and so on and so forth so what is the personal uh, the purpose then of personal branding as in essential has mentioned number one standing out from the competition if no one knows you then how will they then hire you so sometimes a familiar face is more encouraging for employers to employ you than someone they're not sure of number two um, personal branding is an unconventional way to connect with potential employers. As I've mentioned, if you're interested in working at a specific company, follow them on LinkedIn, check what they're doing. So that by the time you do go to the interview, you can let them know on some of the updates that they've posted on LinkedIn, some of the projects that they've worked on. Number three, um, it also builds employer trust. If they can find you, they don't think you're a ghost doing funny things, and they are then comfortable with working with you. And lastly, it leads to opportunities. As in essential has mentioned, um, getting an opportunity to be part of a working group or planning group for this segment um, at this event is because of networking as well. Um, so just some of the tips on how to build the network, which in essential has covered. Make sure that you do participate in your voluntary associations and volunteer, 100% voluntary. Um, number two, make sure you use LinkedIn to connect to your peers. Doesn't mean that if you've never met them that you can't build a relationship and actually um, open doors to different opportunities that you might have not even known existed. Number three, make sure you attend webinars, seminars, and events and any engaging efforts. The first time I met Michael, I went to an AGM. And I sat in there and I wasn't sure what was happening on the screen. But I knew that after the session, I will get a chance to connect with some of the rock stars from SISI. Number four, ask questions, talk to people, and contribute to the industry. If there's something that you know, something that you'd like to share, post it, post it on LinkedIn. Tell us how your project is doing. Tell us about the innovative ideas that you are currently working on on LinkedIn. And lastly, share, encourage, motivate, and showcase your growth. Don't be ashamed to post your success on LinkedIn. Don't be ashamed to post that you won five awards or seven awards because it does encourage some of the other youth members out there. Okay, so I'm just gonna skip towards the end. I've just put out some LinkedIn statistics um, just to give a, a personal um, uh, occurrence that happened in my life. Um, so I remember I chatted to, thank you, to one employer and you know we had a we had a chat about LinkedIn and they said oh LinkedIn doesn't work you know we don't even know what it's for but at that time I mentioned look it was still new I think this is about five to six years ago and I mentioned that it's it's literally going to grow so much because it'll be the platform that employers use to get their employees people are not going to look for you on Facebook all the time you know they're gonna they also want to see how your professional network is growing and these are some of the statistics that support the need to also have a LinkedIn profile and engage using it. So I'll give you some of the tips that I've used um, on how to use LinkedIn. 
I've put in the times on when you should post. Do not post anything at 2 a.m. No one's awake to see it at all. Um, so rather try and post between 10 a.m. and um, 12 p.m. or 2 to 3 p.m. As well, your best days, Thursday being number one, then second day would be your Tuesdays and your Wednesdays. I've also seen that on Sundays we do have some of our professionals like Innocentia, you know, posting and commenting in our posts on a Sunday afternoon, um, but these are your best days. Number two, um, if you would like to then now connect with everyone, you've, you've seen that Innocentia put up a QR code, so just go into your LinkedIn and then just, okay, it doesn't appear there, just go to the top right corner, there's like a little QR code thing, open it and then share your QR code as well. You can. You can scan someone else's QR code if you want to connect with them. <coughs> and then my next tip is um, use pictures and videos. We love your pictures and your videos. But as well, make sure it's about one to four pictures. What happens is that the last, let's say, five to ten pictures don't appear first. And it would take someone that's really interested to scroll through them. As well, the first line should be catchy. I use capital letters because I can and no one can stop you. <laughs> but you're welcome to use anything catchy to try and attract someone's attention to your post. And then as well, make sure that um, if you do repost something, maybe Sisi shared your picture, do repost it, but put a caption or hashtag or something. Don't just repost it without any context. Um, and just to close off my segment, um, there are different networking platforms. Um, number one being your volunteer associations. If I don't have it here, apologies, but please do engage with your BAs. Number two, we've got an app called Nalkali, which um, was developed by um, Tom McCune, Philip Marsh, and Shelley, which is called the Women in the Built Environment. So it's an app for women where they can engage with industry leaders and professionals and potentially get a mentor on the app. Um, I will share that updated QR code. I know this QR code might be taking you to the homepage, um, but please do download the app um, and engage with us. Download um, the app to, own, to also share the pictures that you've taken at this conference. Give us your motivation. Let us know how you feel as well. Ask questions. There are enough people on the app to answer your questions. Um, and then I've just put up a few slides of how it works, but please come to me. I'll show you how it works. And lastly, there's an app called Castillo by Confidence. Um, it's also an app that um, assists women in engaging with each other, and it's got so many other um, positive qualities about it. Please make sure that you also download it. Um, Confidence, okay, she's not in the session, but I'll also just ask her to send me the QR code so that you can also download the app and start engaging with us. Yeah, um, I think the way forward is pretty simple, but last, I think I'm just going to emphasize the last point, share what you've learned. So if you've learned anything that you might have not known on in this in this session, just make sure that you share it with your fellow classmates and friends. Yeah. Will your, event, your, your efforts eventually work? And the answer is yes. Keep pushing and you will soon reach your goal. Thank you. Thank you.